the people of Israel, the time when our Lord walked by the paths of Galilee, they looked at the people who were lepers as outcasts. In fact, the lepers stayed far away. They had their places and they, as they walked, they walked with a bell. But our Lord Jesus gave us a totally different appreciation of those people. In the gospel, we read how the ten lepers came crying to our Lord and our Lord healed them. You remember the other, our Lord touched the leper and healed him. It was unheard of that you could touch a leper because the stigma of that time meant they are away. You cast them away. They were not persons who were part of the society. When Pope St. John Paul II went to West Africa, it was a time when AIDS was at its peak. He was taken to the hospitals and all of us were amazed because he went into one of the wards and there was the AIDS patients and at that time people couldn't get close to them. John Paul II went to the AIDS patient, embraced him. What he wanted to say is, you're a son of God, you're a daughter of God, you are worth everything and therefore nothing can devalue you of the dignity that you are. That stigma, he was beaten. Pope Francis met this man who had a terrible skin disease in the Vatican. And again, he embraced him. And people were saying, how can he? Because he was telling us, don't judge people by how they look, but because of their sickness or because of whatever may have happened. This is the same example we have seen with blessed Irene Yada. When she walked around Nyeri, taking care of those people during the plague, she didn't fear, she washed them, she cared for them, she fed them. Dear Christians, we must fight stigma. We must embrace with our hearts those who perhaps at this moment have got the disease, have recovered. Maybe not by touching them because of the disease infection, but yes, by embracing them with our hearts, with our prayers and encouraging them. We must fight stigma because that is Christ who expects my welcome. Reach out to your brother and sister. Don't push them away. Welcome them and show them that they are worth everything because they are worthy and priceless daughters and sons of God the Father. God bless you in this attitude towards our brothers and sisters.